Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So in today's video we are going to be covering WordPress security. So without further ado we're going to go ahead and get started. So you may have built your website and you're pretty much ready to go. Um, you're just now finalizing a couple of bits and pieces and one of those things would be security. So how can I make sure that my site is secure? So there's actually a couple of methods in doing so. Okay, so just to demonstrate the first one, which is going to be located here. Now, this is a uh, database tool that's being used. This is actually called uh, WP Local. Now, the most important part of this is, of course, when we set this first up, um, you're going to be asked to create. So we'll actually just go through it. So we'll just skip this. Um, okay. You're going to be asked a username and a WordPress password. Now, the password is, of course, that's going to be one of your main security ones. Uh, you have to make sure that you use a complex and unique password, especially for all of the user accounts, including administrators, editors and authors. But of course, this is us setting it up. Make sure that you use a very, very complex password off the bat. Now, if we view it from the dashboard of WordPress, uh, you'll see here located there, it's called users. Now you can add new users as well. And we'll just select the all users. Now you can see it's directed to my email and it's also directed here. To, uh, that's my username. Of course, I can edit the username there. Now my role there is as admin. Now, if you do select for a new user, make sure use a very, very unique password. You can even use the generated password if you want to as well. And on top of that, if you can't remember the passwords, best thing to do is to download a Google Chrome extension called LastPass or any other secured uh, vault passwords that you could use and store a unique password like this one. So it's hard to enter in. Um, you'll no cybercrime will happen, especially if you've got a very secure password. So that would be the first thing to do to secure a WordPress website. Now, going along with the uh, strong passwords and security, the best thing to do as well is to have a two-factor authentication. Now, implement a two-factor authentication, also known as 2FA, for all user accounts, and that provides an additional layer of security beyond passwords. So as well as just having a password, as you guys could see, best thing you could do as well is to have that authentic, uh, that user two-factor authentication. And that means sending a code via text or email or having the user accept uh, or, you know, saying yes, ver verifying yes to entering a, an account. So that could be another one towards the security of WordPress. Now, the one that I'm going to show you now is within the plugins. So it's important to have plugins installed. So if I add a new plugin and I'll just go ahead and demonstrate this to you guys. And if I go ahead and search up anything to do with a security, you can see that there's a couple of different uh, plugins to use, like iTheme security. So this one is protecting or just a security plugin, as you can see. So the iTheme, iTheme security setup. Uh, an onboarding experience is designed to allow anyone to secure their WordPress website in under 10 minutes. So you could go through this. As you can see, it works for e-commerce, network, nonprofit blog, portfolio and brochure. Uh, you also get a two-factor authentication. There's password uh, requirements. You got a recapture as well. Passwordless log logins and trusted devices. Now, there is an iTheme security uh, plus or pro that you would have to pay for but of course it will be worth it especially if you're trying to protect your website now another one there is security and malware and that's by clean talk 
Now that's one thing you have to make sure to look out for, which is malware. Uh, now, even if you have a security login, um, malware can still be very damaging and malicious towards your website. Now, our next one would be to have an SSL. Now, that's very, very important anyway for a website. Of course, you want to gain uh, the trust of your users to be using a website with a locked uh, SSL. Now, Cloudflare would be one of the ones to use for it. So pretty much just installing an SSL certificate just to make sure that you encrypt any data transmitted between the website and its visitors. You would normally have an SSL uh, just primarily for moving sensitive information such as credit cards, that records. Uh, of course, your bank details is involved with that. And then you would have sensitive information like, say, your address, your... Uh, IP address, things like that. So it's always great to have an SSL installed. Now, as I said, this one is an example here, which is the Cloudflare, uh, Cloudflare SSL. Now, this is a security certificate that provides an end-to-end -end encryption and, of course, enhances the security of websites and web applications. Now, it's a free SSL certificate. Uh, that can be installed onto the website to encrypt traffic between the server and the user's browser. Uh, now, by the likes of this, there are other ones to use like Flywheel if you wanted to use that. And I'm sure there are other SSL certificates available and not just the two that I've mentioned. But yes, as I was saying, uh, pretty much Cloudflare is an excellent choice for website owners looking to maybe improve the website security and performance uh, with it spending a lot of money on SSL certificates and other security solutions. Now, another thing that you may want to look into as well is to limit the login attempts. Now, when you are, of course, you know, um, limiting the login attempts, that means that you're able to restrict the number of login uh, a user can make before being logged out and that can prevent brute force attacks. So that, that would be key to have. Now that would more or less be something to do with your plugin. So if you add, again, uh, as we've seen from the iTheme security, this is another thing that w uh, you, you could do. So there would be a plugin for it or you can code it in so as you can see there's limit login attempts reload so that there's one there for uh, brute force or yeah brute force attacks or WPS hide login so quite a couple of ones that you could use to protect your website now while we're on the topic again on plugins what you could do as well is disable file editing now if you disable the ability to edit a plugin and theme file through the WordPress dashboard. This can prevent unauthorized access to the sensitive files. So this could be your actual backend code, depending if you built the website from scratch. Uh, and another thing as well uh, with the plugins is that it's always key to keep updating the actual software itself or the plugin multiple times. Now in doing so will mean that you get the latest update uh, meaning that you're pretty much preventing any sort of cybercrime that's to happen to your website. Um, then, of course, it just provides a secure location for your site. But guys, that is pretty much the end of the video. Uh, of course, there are other ways that you can protect your WordPress website. There are multiple ways, as mentioned. Uh, but these are some of the following simple ways to do so, which is of course having an SSL, updating your pass passwords or limiting the logins and having some plugins uh, installed as well. Now, if you guys have any questions at all regarding the video, please do let us know in the comment section below. But other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much for watching.